last part of it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm happy giving you guys crypto news. Crypto news. News. Okay, let's look cuter. News. That does not look cute. News. Are you guys still sad about the stock market being down right now because of inflation and possibly recession coming around the corner? Well, join millions of other people who are going through the same emotions that you guys are, including myself. I have a lot of invested in crypto. Have you guys seen commercials from Facebook, also now known as Meta, on the Meta universe and how they're trying to expand the goggles to students interns that for example are wanting to uh, perform surgeries and they can go ahead and be taught by the metaverse you can go in there and perform your surgeries without actually performing a surgery on somebody else how about that you guys still don't believe in the future of the metaverse the nfts cryptocurrency well you guys will be left out once everything comes into play all those people who invested in early in cryptocurrency are going to get an advantage to everything i wanted to say an effing advantage but yes an advantage i'll leave it at that now in today's juicy gossip in an article from market watch in el salvador said that in june 2021 the president nayib bukil ended up purchasing his administration in that case ended up purchasing 105 million worth in bitcoin the price that they paid for this bitcoin was forty six thousand dollars each now it was calculated that they had lost 57 percent of their investment since inflation and everything that happened in the beginning of the year happened and this is equivalent to 61 million dollars lost from the investment that el salvador put in june 2021 now what was his response that the president said is that we have to be patient during the bear market so after being reminded that each Bitcoin now is worth $20,000, his response was, Will, so you were telling me we should buy more? That was my Italian mafia voice. My voice. My voice. I do agree with the president when he says that cryptocurrency is a long-term game and I know that everybody financially is on a different boat but that's why they tell you to invest what you are willing to lose. Okay guys I must admit I researched into a lot of crypto but I didn't research into the name of the president in El Salvador so if I'm saying it wrong you can please correct me down in the comments I wish that they had like voice recorders like they do on hinge for example so that i can hear how it's pronounced but i want to say bukel bukel in spanish you would say bukel so bukel is the first leader in all of the countries to accept bitcoin as a tender for its country now the internal monetary fund recommended el salvador to return back from the bitcoin tender back everything all the money to its treasury because of the volatility and the criminal stealings that have been going on bukel said no now bukel refused saying that it will be a financial inclusion to those that do not have bank accounts and it will also prompt tourism for bitcoin investors now a lot of people are upset and worried because a lot of people thinking that they were going to get rich fast ended up quitting their jobs trying to go full in into cryptocurrency thinking that the bear or not the bear market the bullish market was going to keep on going up because that's what you want to hope for obviously everybody wants to get rich in their lifetime but when it things just don't come that easily sometimes to us and the more that we want it 
the less that we have it so you guys have to be prepared especially in cryptocurrency because it's so volatile i went through the same exact things that you guys went through trust me that hype that energy that comes with cryptocurrency but just know that i am investing because it's the beginning stages of cryptocurrency and like the dot-com era everybody needs to wait and stabilize themselves away from inflation and everything that's been going on now and make people feel safe again in order to invest in things that are futuristic and that will come so it will come i'm trust me i am hoping i am 30 years old so i still have maybe like for in my mindset 10 years to invest in order for myself to like get out of work and at 40 like i still have energy obviously i'm not saying anything in specific but um that i'm uh, now that i'm 30 living my life i'm doing a game plan and that's when i hope that you know cryptocurrency will take off and the metaverse is happening now everything's happening now so that you guys have to do research in order to have faith in this because a lot of people put in money during this hard these hard times and we went through now that's why we're having inflation everything all the prices are going up and those that didn't have money are now struggling for money and trying to take all their investments out so it's normal that this is happening but that's why this is happening